so I'm not trying to put anything in front of you, you know. Everything comes after you because you're like priority right now. It says, I hope you listen to the words. Hey guys, Epic Zara here of Zara Nicola TV. I'm back again with another video. Hey, how you doing if it's your first time? Welcome, please subscribe to our channel. If this is not your first time, thank you for supporting us and welcome back. So guys, today I would like to talk to you about, uh, I would like to talk to you guys about the pros and cons of having long hair. It's not all peaches and cream, roses and other nice flowers or bunnies and other woodland creatures. <laughs> Sometimes it's really stressful. So I'm gonna give you guys my pros and cons of having long Pocahontas hair. Before we get into the video, you guys, I'd just like to remind you of four things that I always remind you of, you know, to do. So those four things are, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Please be sure to comment down below what you'd like to see next. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And also guys, last but certainly not least, please be sure to share this video with your friends, with your family, with all your other peoples. Thank you so much and let's get right into it. Look at the world of my eyes that you bring into life. It's quite unfortunate you're by yourself. I wanna love you, but I know about you. This one way you need to That you get married to the right guy. So you guys, here are a few pros with regards to having long hair. It's really pretty, you guys. Everyone wants to have that like Pocahontas or what's this girl's name? Rapunzel, right, Rapunzel hair. So that's pretty cool, you know? Long hair can be quite beautiful. Short hair is beautiful too, you guys. But yeah, long hair can be really beautiful. It allows you to be super versatile. If you have more hair to play with, you can get pretty creative with your styling because you could do lots of different stuff, including make it appear to be short. You can straighten it. I mean, I'm not about to straighten my hair, but you can straighten it. You could put in lots of updos like my friend Chinue does. I'm gonna link her right here. She's one of my favorite YouTubers slash natural hair vloggers, you guys. You could put it in ponytails and stuff, which is still an updo, but you guys, you get what I'm saying. I'm not super creative with my hairstyles, but if you are and you have long hair, kudos, because you could do lots with it. Long hair can be really low maintenance. Now, the reason I say this is because if you're like me and you're high key a lazy natural, what you're gonna be doing most of the time is twisting it up or putting it in some sort of a bun or wearing a puff or just letting your fro be free. I like to do these things like all the time, you guys, and they're super low maintenance for me. If your hair is long, kudos to you. It's most likely that you have mastered your hair. You know how to make your hair thrive. You know how to make it grow, grow, grow. And you guys, shameless plug. If you guys wanna see my seven do's and don'ts on how to grow long natural hair, I'm gonna link these videos right here. But anyway. <laughs> If you have long hair, chances are at this point, you know how to care for your hair, so good job. All the hairstyles that you dreamed of doing when your hair was short, you can now do. So way to go, girl or guy. <laughs> Congratulations. When your hair is really long, chances are your fro is really popping. I'm gonna put some pictures of my fro right here, you guys, so I can show you what I mean. <gasps> But yeah, if your hair is long, your fro gets bigger. So that's pretty cool. That's one of my favorite things about having long hair. So you guys, now let's move on to some cons. These are the things I personally don't really like about having long natural hair. People constantly ask, is your hair real? Is it real? Is that your hair? Like fam, the other day, actually happened today too. <laughs> but the other day, I was at an event and a young girl was staring at me from across the room. I was like, okay, is there something on my face? Is there like a stain on my shirt? I didn't know what she was looking at. Of course, she came up to me later with her sibling, I assume her older sibling, um, and was like, Is that your hair? And I was like, yeah. They're like, all of it? I was like, yeah. 
And they're like, all of that's your hair. I was like, fam, I don't know what you want me to say. Yes. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I didn't actually say that. I said that in my mind. In reality, I just replied graciously. At this point, I'm used to it. But it can get pretty annoying when people are constantly like, is that your hair? Is it? All of it? As if you're about to lie that it's your hair. Really? People always want to touch it. I think it's calmed down a bit now, especially because I'm wearing my hair in more tame styles, but people are always trying to touch, and it's like, don't touch my hair. You guys can watch that video too. I'm gonna put that right here. My little rant about people touching my hair. But um, the other day, <laughs> I was at the club, and um, in our section, this young woman literally grabbed my bun and started feeling it up. I was like, whoa there, I've only known you for all of five minutes. That's a bit too close for comfort. But it's cool, I recovered, I didn't freak out, you know, like I normally would have. I just cooled it and dealt with it. But that's a huge con when it comes to having long natural hair. So you guys, the next one is wash day can be a like wash day can actually be really terrible <laughs> i'm not gonna lie as much as i love washing my hair and pampering it because there's a lot of it things like finger detangling regular detangling deep conditioning pre-pooing shampooing everything just takes a little bit longer because you have to spend more time ensuring that you've done each step properly you know but it's totally worth it because hey if i didn't spend this time doing my hair it would not continue to thrive Another thing is, can't really enjoy those styles that I would have definitely tried if I knew how to handle my hair when it was actually short. Aww. I've just accepted that if I want to try those styles, I'm going to have to chop off my hair and that's not about to happen. So I'm dealing with it the best way that I can. Hashtag wig. Oh, that's another con, you guys. If your hair is long and natural, chances are it's going to have a tough time fitting under most wigs. That's my struggle. Styling can be a lot of stress. I think at this point I do braid outs 99% of the time and my routine, again, is quite low maintenance for me. But if you want to do intricate styles, sometimes it can be stressful because there's just a lot of hair to deal with. From the washing, which we've already gone over, to the actual styling process, it can just be much. Some sections might dry before you finish on one section. It may not necessarily be the way you want it to look because your hair has too much hang time, etc., etc., etc. There are just many factors that make styling somewhat difficult at times when one has long hair. But let me just digress for a moment. There are many styles that I used to do when my hair was short that look 20 bazillion times better now that my hair is longer. I personally am still trying to grow out the front section of my hair more. Does anybody else's hair grow in layers? That happens to me. But yeah, you guys, I'm trying to grow out the front of my hair more because my hair grows in pretty extreme layers. It's not so bad, like the front section still grows. But I'd like my hair to have more of a mushroom shape. You know what I mean? So if your hair grows in layers, comment down below. Tell me how that looks for you or just tell me how your hair grows generally. If you guys could let me know, I'd like to read about that because maybe I'm not the only one struggling this struggle. Maybe there are other interesting patterns of hair growth, so let's share. I'm not going to lie to you guys, detangling can be a lot of stress, especially because I like to wear my hair in a fro pretty often. I've calmed down, I've decided to tame my fro. As you can see, I'm wearing this sleekity sleek bun because I'm not trying to spend a million years detangling my hair. And this year, I'm trying to retain all of my length. We're gonna get into that more in another video. If you guys actually want to go on a protective style journey with me for real or a hair growth journey, please comment down below and I will get something going. Another huge con about having long natural hair is that stuff tends to get stuck in your hair. That happens to me a lot, you guys. Stuff is always randomly getting stuck in my hair. If I go outside, I must come back inside with a few objects stuck in my hair. Um, I, I really, I don't know how to feel about that all the time. It's interesting. I'm not trying to collect anything, so I don't necessarily appreciate all these random objects hitching a ride in my hair. But you know, it's okay. It's all right. It's just something that one has to manage, you know? So you guys, these are my pros and cons of having long natural hair. Now, I mean, long natural hair 
As far as I see it, the pros outweigh the cons. I hope this was just a fun video for you guys to tell you guys to enjoy each stage of your natural hair journey because there are beautiful things about each stage and of course, pretty sucky things about each stage. It's not always about getting to that Pocahontas or Rapunzel length. Sometimes just enjoy where you are and make sure you're giving your hair what it needs to continue to thrive. So yeah, you guys, that's the end of the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with all your homies. Comment down below regarding the pattern of your hair growth. What else, what else do we talk about? You guys go back and watch and remind me what are the things we're meant to be commenting about. I read all the comments, you guys. I can't always reply to all of them, but I read all of them and I'm gonna do my best to reply. So please comment. And I don't think I said this one yet. Give this video a big thumbs up so we can make more awesome videos for you guys. Let's try and get this video to like a thousand likes, at least. Okay, you guys, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. God bless you guys. I love you guys. You guys are the real MVPs. Thank you so much for consistently supporting. Peace.